Good day everyone. Welcome to Happy Heart Tribe Family Vlog. And today I wanted to share to you one of the African food that I used to cook for my husband. And I've, I'm proud because I've learned it myself. <music> one that I prepared is approximately one kilo of beef it is cut into such as this then the next is that you will need to put few chilies or any chili that you like which in my case I prepared a red chili pepper and combined it with one half or one fourth of uh, one fourth of onion and as well as crayfish this is a dried shrimp you know the small crayfish the small shrimps the small dried shrimps okay so i have already combined it and already blended together to come up with a little sauce like this next we also have dried fish so we we like it with dried fish. This is a dried squash seed. And I have already blended this in the food processor. So that's why it looks like this. So it has already been like powderized. And later on, we will be adding this ingredient, which is the palm oil. And then for the vegetable, they normally use this one, which is called the bitter leaf. And there's another meat that we also love to put into this recipe is the ox tripe. So I've already boiled, boiled the ox tripe in advance. So I'm gonna show you how it looks like. So I'm, while I'm boiling it, um, I've already put chicken cubes. I have put a small portion of salt, chopped onions, thyme, and rosemary spices. And later on, I will show you how I add all these ingredients step by step. So let's check the pot now. This is how the ox tripe now, which is already boiling for approximately 30 minutes. So the moment I'll be able to prick it with the fork, then that's the time that I will add the beer. Okay guys, so the ox tripe is not a little bit soft. So it's time for us to add the beef now. So I'll be adding them now. So the ox tripe has been boiling for approximately 45 minutes now. I did not use the pressure cooker because this, the ox tripe is just a small amount. So it's fine. Then I'll be adding the dried fish too along with the beef. So approximately we'll be boiling this again until the beef is soft. Okay guys, we're back. So the meat now is already tender, but we will be adding all the ingredients that I showed to you earlier, except the vegetable bitter leaf. So now I've added the blended onion, crayfish, and the chili into the pot now. And next, we will be adding the palm oil. So just pour a little until it shows that it's kind of reddish, and but not so much oil on it. And the squash seeds that we blended earlier. Mix it a little bit, but not too much. Making sure that the ingredients are all incorporated. Okay guys, so this is how it looks after uh, 15 to 20 minutes simmer. And the final one now is we have added the bitter leaf. However, if you don't have any bitter leaf, then you can use a spinach. You can chop it finely before you can you add it. Now that we have added the bitter leaf, then we are going to simmer this one more time for approximately seven to 10 minutes. 
And this should be ready. Here we go, guys. This is the igusi now.